good youtube it's your boy david back with another video and this is your first time to the channel man welcome appreciate you clicking on the video definitely hope you enjoy it and if you do hit that subscribe button and the like button at the end also comment down below what you want to see from me next but if this ain't your first video man welcome back fam it's your boy david man so today is going to be my rest day so i figured i'll just take y'all along with me and kind of give you a little update on just like kind of how my workout split is going right now if i'm gonna be doing a show and things like that so just gonna give you all a little update we also got to go to the store so today that's my rest day it's kind of just a day to just reset and get myself ready for the next week so i'm gonna take you all along for that I'm not gonna try and bore y'all with a lot of stuff but right now i'm about to go so on my rest days i try and have active rest days so i try and go in the gym and walk on a treadmill for you know 30 45 minutes sometimes i'll do the treadmill or i'll walk outside but i like to do the treadmill just because it's able it's easier to keep a steady pace and whereas if you're walking out outside or things like that you tend to you know go at the pace of whatever's going on crossing the street x y and z so just a better way of keeping a steady state cardio um while on the treadmill anyways so we're gonna do that and we're also gonna hit some abs and some stretches so yeah it's just another day of just kind of resetting my body but also being active and making sure i'm getting some blood flow and then um, after that yeah we're gonna rest a little bit um chill the house and maybe watch a little bit of football so uh yeah man it's football season so and the saints play the uh saints play the cowboys today so we're gonna see what they talking about because last week I, don't, I ain't believe in that blowout like that but we're gonna see what today's talking about but yeah as y'all can see it's also like real gloomy today so it's kind of got that feel you just want to just sit in the house and not do anything so but uh man let's get in this gym man let's go y'all about the importance of rest days and that you know especially active rest days I, I used to be in the past where I would just have a rest day and that meant just not going to the gym and just really not doing anything at all but I found that especially as I've gotten older and especially as my training has gotten more intense that it's better for me to at least just get in the gym and just do something you see me right here doing some light weights you know moving my body around warming up my shoulders and I also use this as a day to hit my abs so I find that works well for me as well as getting some cardio in but just making sure that you just do something that's going to give you some cardiovascular activity and get your blood moving get your muscles moving and get your body you know used to just not sitting around because i feel like when you use your rest day as a day to just like completely not do anything it can kind of shake you up and like leave you more stiff and not prepare you to get back into your workout routine whenever that may be like if you have two rest days or one rest day whatever it may be i feel like for myself i'll speak for myself that i felt like whenever i wouldn't do anything it would lead me to the next day um whether it be a leg workout or whatever it may be it would be not as good of a workout because i feel like i'm trying to work off all that stiffness from the day before of not doing anything. So just wanted to come on here real quick and just let y'all know, you know, make sure that you're just maximizing your, you know, rest day, whatever it may be. It can even be just stretching, something like this. It's just a way to really just move your body around, get some blood flowing and, you know, set you up for success. So there we go, man, on with the video. All right, y'all. So back at the crib and right now I'm actually about to have me a protein shake with some cereal. Let me actually show y'all real quick. So I got this at GNC yesterday. I know I talked down on GNC protein in the past, but I have to admit that I have been on this whey bolic protein that they've had at the store for a little bit. Uh, it's definitely a higher grade um, protein from GNC, so I've definitely been loving it and mixes really well with a little bit of water. So I've been on the cookies and cream for quite some time now, but yesterday when I went, I got the strawberry and cream and I got the vanilla. So interested to see how these flavors taste. I really got the vanilla because I want to try some protein pancakes soon. Maybe I'll try it this week. Maybe I'll record it. We'll see what happens. Let me know down below if y'all want me to record that. But uh, anyways, yeah, so I got to say back on the GNC train because these, this is a really good quality protein, uh, at least so far since I've been trying it. And it's only $30 a pop, whereas y'all know, I've still been on the, um, 
I still I own the Planta, but the thing is with this, like this is fifty dollars a pop. So yes, of course these aren't plant based and things like that. And you know with Planta you get a lot more like vitamins and things like that baked into it. But at the end of the day, man, like this is a lot of money for basically the same amount of servings um, that these get you. So and plus a lot of times you know GNC is always running those deals. You know like buy one get one fifty percent off. That's how this was. And then, or like buy one or buy two, get one uh, free, you know? So there's always running promotions like that and things like that. So, you know, and uh, I did say I was gonna eat some cereal as well. So recently I've been on this ghost cereal. I am a little skeptical about like the whole like sugar content and things like that, because these taste really sugary. Like this is like, if not one in one with like Fruity Pebbles or like, I would say like these taste better than Fruity Pebbles, like, just in my opinion. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna have this because the serving size of this is 17 grams of protein. So I'm probably gonna have, I'm not gonna weigh it out probably, I'm probably gonna have like, let's say like a serving size in a quarter or a half. So I'm gonna get at least probably like 20 to 25 grams of protein um, just out of the cereal alone with two scoops of protein from this, which is 40 grams of protein. So about 60 to 65 grams of protein just to start off my morning. Well, it's not even morning no more. Don't pay attention to that clock. That's just something that me and Kayla have like the inside joke. It's five o'clock somewhere. Five o'clock, happy hour, always in here, but. Anyways, yeah, man, it's about 12, 12, 15 right now. So I'm about to have this real quick as like my first meal of the day, but I'll probably catch y'all next time at the store whenever I'm, uh, cause I actually, I don't know if I told y'all, I might have, who knows, but I'm gonna go to the grocery store later on. And I did tell y'all this earlier, so we're gonna move on. Y'all already know, I'm going to the grocery store later. I'm gonna catch y'all there. Too easy, too easy, man. What up, y'all? Chiming in again. So I also wanted to talk about the mental side of a rest day as well. Whereas for me, I find that I use my rest days as a way to just mentally reset where I'm just, you know, allowing myself, whether it be, you know, listening to worship music, whether it be watching football, if it's football Sunday, if it's that, you know, time of the year, um, just doing something that I love to do and that brings me joy and that just allows me to decompress. That's also super important to throw into your rest days. Man, y'all should have gave me that. Woo! All day. That's that boy fourth touchdown. Say. Oh, I know you mad. <laughs> I know you mad, boy. <laughs> mm hmm. The next play, your first play, is a pick? You trying to win this game or what? Honey guys, you're in the building. Boy, I know y'all mad. Boy, I know them Dallas fans mad, boy. Also, rest days are super helpful for setting yourself up for the next week. For me, you know, starting this video and making sure I'm getting these files transferred over and starting everything right now is going to help me out for the, when the week comes and I'm trying to edit this video that I don't have to do all the startup work. And y'all already see what it is, man. Go Saints. I will be in New Orleans for that Super Bowl. You already know that. But again, yeah, going back to, you know, setting yourself up for the week, um, you know, I grocery shop on Sundays to set myself up for the week. Whether that's, you know, and I ain't the healthiest person out there, you know, I ain't getting, you know, salad and all that stuff. But hey, also make sure y'all checking y'all eggs, man. Y'all gotta make sure they ain't got no cracked eggs in there, man. I don't know if you ever had a big brother or a big sister that would tell you that, but I'm telling you, man, I'm here to watch out for you. Anyway, y'all know I gotta get that water, gallon gang. So you gotta make sure you get that water in. But for me, uh, I make sure that I go grocery shopping over the weekend, whether it's Saturday or Sunday, to make sure that I already got my groceries and my meats and all that, you know, ready for the week. And then these blue diamond almonds, best almonds I had ever tasted. Kayla got those not too long ago and I was like, yeah, these, these are true. And then I was trying to get some rice cakes and the store tried to play me because they didn't have the flavor I messed with. I messed with caramel only. I don't really like the apple cinnamon and the chocolate, but it was luckily on the bottom rack. So 
it was all good there. But again, you know, I just use my weekends again to set myself up for success, whether it comes to, you know, making sure that I'm getting, you know, the groceries that I need for the week, getting, you know, and I also like these uh, Greek yogurts. I find that these also save me a lot of times from, you know, those late night cravings. I ended up putting the uh, cookies and cream back just because the, the protein to calorie ratio just wasn't hidden for me. And also, you know, you gotta make sure you got, you know, your chicken, your turkey, things like that. Lately, I kind of try and switch it up between the two and also have variety, but you know, that's just me, so. Hey, what's good, y'all? Back at the crib, and I figured while I'm putting these groceries away and things like that, uh, I might as well tell y'all a little bit about what's going on, like if I'm gonna be doing a show this year or whatnot, but if you can take into account what the date is, and I'm not on prep, I'm obviously not doing a show this year, uh, which sucks, but, Basically, you know, with your Agile have been following us all this year, we were traveling a lot in the beginning of the year, and with that came a lot of just like, not uncertainty, but not a lot of consistency when it came to training and things like that, especially all the stuff that happened in San Francisco. So with all that, whenever we got to Atlanta, I definitely wasn't like, I kind of got back, I kind of got back on track when we were in New Orleans and things like that. So I wasn't too bad, but I wasn't where I wanted to be in terms of going into prep and being ready to be my best at a show. On top of that, by the time we had got settled here and we were trying to like look, at, I was looking at potential shows to do, everything that I would be trying to do like around like late, maybe November, which there weren't a lot of options to choose from, like a lot of the good ones were really in October. But at that point we were already, I think at the time I was looking, if I would have had a coach and been ready to go right then and there, I would have been like at 12 weeks which isn't great for me doing my first show. Like I really would wanna have like maybe like 16 weeks to, to prep for a show. And also just like have known my coach for a little while so that they know my body and know how I respond to certain foods and things like that. So ultimately it just didn't make sense for me to kind of try and rush everything um, and try and like do a show this year just to do it. It was more so just like, okay, let's just go ahead and Continue to work on my weak points like y'all were knowing, uh, like y'all know, or if y'all don't know, I was on three leg days a week for about almost like three, four months. Um, I just ended that at the end of August. So um, right now I'm actually on two back days a week and two leg days and then a, a shoulder and a chest day. And I think I'm going to do this for about, I'm going to do this for about three months. And then once after those three months, I'll probably kick it into like two chest days. So I'm kind of trying to work on my weak points a little bit and give those more days and more volume. So that's really my goal right now is just focusing on my weak points and getting myself in tip top shape ready for next year to come strong. Right now I'm like sitting at about between 225 and 230 right now. So same two right there, definitely not the amount of leanness that I want to be when it comes to um, just like my midsection and things like that, but it'll come with time, uh, especially more discipline. Uh, as y'all seen, you know, my grocery haul, obviously like I'm not like super clean when it comes to the things that I eat. Like yes, there's fruits and things like that, fruits and vegetables. Um, well, not many vegetables as y'all seen, but uh, lots of fruits uh, and then lots of, you know, protein and things like that. Not too many snacks. Honestly, where is it? And I'm sure I talked about it earlier, but Things like this, the um, Greek yogurt, this has really been saving me, especially like at nights when I have like those late night cravings for just something sweet. These, this is where it's at. Now, I don't necessarily love this cookies and cream one just because, and that was why I actually put one of them back on, uh, cause I was gonna get two, but I put one of them back just because the calories here is really high. They're normally at like around 80 calories, but this is like 130, which it's not like, not great. It's like already the protein count is not even like 10% of the calories. It's just 11. So it is what it is, but I'll try it out, see what the flavor I'm talking about. But those things really help me with those late night cravings. But anyways, yeah, talking back, uh, talking about the show and whatnot. Right now, my goal is to definitely try and find a coach, uh, especially, you know, uh, as I've seen in the latest video, it actually dropped today. Make sure to go watch that right there. Strong as I've ever been. Um, my gym house or madhouse gym review basically my first time working out over there uh, we've been there for a little while now but that's the first time y'all have seen that video anyways um yeah man there's a lot of good coaches there so hopefully you know i'm able to like connect with somebody um when the timing is right letting god lead me uh, to who's the right person to lead me down this journey of you know my first show so 
we're going to see what happens with that, but hoping to find, you know, a new coach or a coach before the end of the year, so that way um, I can, you know, start to work with them in whatever capacity that looks like for right now for them to start learning my body, um, how I respond to certain foods, so that way we can start prepping for a show around like early summer next year, so that is the goal right now in terms of, you know, especially now that we're actually settled down, we're not hopping around so much, I'm definitely able to be a lot more consistent with my diet as well as my training, you know, six days a week, um, basically my seventh day is a rest day, so like I've seen today, and then it's right back to it. But uh, yeah, very consistent with my training and whatnot, and just working on my weak points, um, very much also like working on posing and things like that on my own, but again, very much want to connect with a coach, so that way I can, you know, they can start giving me tips on what are my weak, um, how do I best explore my body in uh, certain poses to really accommodate what my strongest features are. So that is basically the rundown of the whole show thing. It really just came down to just, there was just a lot of inconsistency in the beginning of the year that caused me to just not be where I wanted to be. And by the time we kind of got settled here, it was just already like too close to call, especially with me being natural. Uh, I just want to make sure that I put myself in the best position to go on that stage and, and, and give my all and give it, give my best package, you know, because ultimately, you know, very much how that first show goes, it's really going to determine how I feel about doing, you know, other shows and things like that. Especially the, uh, the other part to that, another reason why I wasn't too, like, excited about doing this show so late in the year is just like, I would cut down so much, but then, and I would be in good shape, and a lot of times when you're in good shape and you cut down for a show, it's good to go ahead and do another show and another show because you're already, like, down at that peak, you know, level, like, where you can, you know, continue to take it to the next level, next level for a couple shows to follow, but because it would have been so late in the year, there wouldn't have been a lot of shows left to follow that I would have been able to capitalize on. But as y'all can see, you know, I'm still, you know, making sure I'm eating clean and things like that to the best of my, you know, ability. You know, of course, like, I'm not gonna say I eat, you know, salads and greens all the time. Like, as y'all seen, I don't have that many greens, but I definitely try to keep it clean, you know, like rice and meats and things like that. Speaking of that, I'm about to eat another meal. It's gonna basically be the same thing I ate earlier, some rice and some uh, ground turkey. I got some more ground turkey at the store, and I also got some chicken breasts. So that's what's gonna be on the menu this week. But yeah, man, I'm gonna finish putting up these groceries and I'll catch you on a bit. So, um, yesterday when I went to GNC, I got, um, I love these uh, barbell uh, protein bars. I normally get, I forget what kind I get. I think it's like a cookies and cream, but I saw they had birthday cakes. So I was like, I'm gonna try it. So I'm about to eat it right now as a little side piece to my meal. Let's see what we're talking about. Pretty good. Nothing special, but pretty good. All right, y'all, I figured while I was watching the game and not really doing too much, I might as well help myself out and go ahead and do some meal prep for the week. Now, of course, this is not all of the food that I'm gonna have for the week. I did buy some uh, ground turkey. Y'all saw when I went to the grocery store, so I'm gonna do that as well. But I also eat what Kayla cooks throughout the week as well, uh, whether it be pasta or whatever. So I also have that as a meal. Um, y'all probably like, where is Kayla? But if y'all follow her on Instagram, y'all know that she got a job at Six Flags. So she's at work right now. Um, so that's where she's at. Um, she works pretty late. Like she doesn't get off until like basically midnight. So. I'll be just riding solo most of the weekend. So, but anyway, so yeah, I prepped my chicken, got that ready to go. So some chicken breast, nothing crazy with that. And I also got some rice going as well. And I've also cleaned the kitchen. So yeah, but right now I'm about to chill, watch the rest of this game. We got six minutes left and we, we just right there. You know, right now I ain't gonna lie. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of like 
on both sides of the fence. Of course, it's always gonna be Chiefs. I'm ready for that three P. But I also rock with my boy Joe Burrow. So we're gonna see what happens. It's been a good game, man. It's back and forth. We're gonna see if Cincinnati can hold off, but who knows, man? We got five minutes, that's a lot of time left. So we're gonna see what happens. But for now, I'm about to actually start editing this video that y'all are watching right now so I can get that to y'all ASAP. So I'm about to chill, do this right now, and then later on, I'm gonna have my cheat meal to cap off the weekend, and then tomorrow's back to the grind, man. So I'm gonna catch y'all at my cheat meal, and then uh, let's see if Cincinnati holds it all, man. Bro, what? Ain't no way, bro. Man, they about to build them boys out. There you go. That boy Mahomes, man. I ain't gonna lie, they got bailed by the flag, but dang, my boy Chase. That was a good game, man. That was a good game. Back at the crib, man. Back at the crib, and as y'all can see, we got Waffle House, man. Waffle House is the big cheat meal of the weekend, man. I love Waffle House. Ever since I was online, uh, I honestly didn't like Waffle House like growing up and stuff like that. But ever since I was online, uh, my front door and my back door loved Waffle House. So we was always going there. And ever since then, I've always loved Waffle House. So had to get it for tonight, man. I, don't, don't judge me. I know there's there's a lot right here. I got two all-star specials, man. Eggs with the cheese, toast, hash brown, sausage, plain waffle, man. But uh, I'm probably not gonna eat both of these, to be honest. I might eat like, you know, half of the other one, like half of like another one. But if I don't, I'll just save this for like later on in the week or whatever. But yeah, man, uh, appreciate y'all sticking with me through like a typical rest day for myself. Uh, as I said earlier, you know, you gotta make sure you utilize your rest days, you know, Effectively, whether that's you know making sure you get in the gym, make sure you get active, get some blood flow, get some cardiovascular activity, so that way you can you know go back into your workout routine, you know not feeling stiff or anything like that. Especially making sure that you're uh, you're stretching and things like that. So we talked about earlier, but uh, by all means, yeah. Also, just making sure that you know you utilize your rest day for like prepping food, you know, washing clothes, whatever it is that's going to set you up for success or to hit the ground running for the week to come. Like that, but to each his own. Everybody uses their rest day differently. Some people might just want to chill in bed all day. I have sometimes I do that too, but uh, for the most part, at least especially lately, I've been trying to you know make the most out of my rest days. But that's enough talking, man. Appreciate y'all sticking with me through the video. If you like the video, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, all that, man. And we out, man. Stay prayed up. Let's get it.